Nerds, it's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, bringing you more leaks from the new Maggotkin of Nurgle Battle Tome. So what we have here is a little snippet of a conversation that got shared out on the Maggotkin of Nurgle uh, WhatsApp group um, that was posted by one of the members there, uh, the individual that has... Uh, that's reporting this information is not identified, obviously, because they're breaking their NDA, probably. Um, but uh, some of this seems somewhat consistent with other rumors that I have seen floating around. And this is a decent little cache of things uh, that I thought was worth making a quick video about. Now, the first thing that I would note is I am recording this on a Sunday after we've had our Sunday preview. There is no Maggotkin of Nurgle Battle Tome in the Sunday preview, which means that our earliest possible release date at this point is December 11th. So, uh, that would mean it would have to be in next Sunday's Sunday preview, and then a week later be on pre-order, and then the following week release. So, that is kind of starting to narrow down when this battle tome might happen. It's looking like middle to end of December, definitely not going to be that first weekend in December. So I've just sort of summarized here from that chat conversation what... Uh, they are saying that our um, new things out of the Battle Tome are that are noteworthy. So the new Allegiance ability, this was something that was talked about um, in a couple of the articles that went up on GW's website. This is more detail on how they're saying it works. So sixes to hit, either in shooting or melee, create a disease counter on the uh, unit that is suffering the hits. Um, each time it gets a six to hit, it gets a disease counter. Each unit can have a maximum of seven disease counters. And at the end of each turn, you roll a D6 for each disease counter that is on the unit. And they get uh, one mortal wound for each four up that's rolled. And then you remove the disease counter for each mortal wound that's inflicted. So this is basically sixes to hit, do mortal wounds with extra steps. Um, a little bit more restrictive than that, but a little bit of delayed mortal wound action. This definitely sounds like how the mechanic would work based on the little snippets that GW has given us in an official capacity. Um, it does sound like there's some bookkeeping here, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We can work with it. Um, if this is in fact how it works and it seems like it probably would be, uh, hopefully the battle tome will come with neat little counters for this, um, or the war scroll cards will something like that. Um, next item plague bearers going to two wounds and their save going to six plus from five plus but they will retain their five up disgusting resilience save and rolling a one on battle shock for your banner only returns one model instead of d6 not a huge change on the returning models but whoa going to two wounds with a six up save uh, and keeping the disgusting resilience is real good that is really, really good. Um, the Feculent Gnarl Maw, they're saying, is no longer going to have run in charge. Um, and there will be an artifact, they are saying, that has an aura ar around the bearer that prevents enemy units from giving or receiving commands. That is huge. That is, like, that's better than the Wither Stave huge. That's... You know, in 3.0, that is crippling to not be able to give or receive commands in a radius around a hero. Um, even if it's only like a seven inch radius, that's still a, uh, that's pretty devastating. Um, also, major item here is all units will have disgusting resilience in uh, this new battle tone, reportedly. Um, so Blight Kings, if Blight Kings have Disgusting Resilience and they retain their 21 wounds with a 4-up save, my god, that is going to be at one hell of a tar pit. 
Um, other than that, um, other than obviously changes to War Scrolls and then one new model that we're getting for an existing War Scroll, there are going to be no new units added other than that. So, that's all I have for today. Um, all of this is not nearly as concrete as the War Scroll leak that we got from Blake Kings yesterday, but this is definitely looking like some reasonable information that sounds like it could very well be true. It's coming from someone that is saying they have physically seen the Nurgle Battle Tome. I have not seen the Nurgle Battle Tome, and none of the people that get advanced copies are leaking anything to me personally. I'm getting all of this second, third, fourth hand. Um, wherever I can get information, uh, I'm sharing it around. Definitely all kinds of... Uh, warnings on this that this is not from somebody took a picture of a page and sent it over to me this is uh snippets from one chat put into another chat and shared around so um this is uh not anybody physically seeing the book other than the person reporting on it so um take it for what you will but this is what we've got for rumors and leaks right now. As we get more, I'll be doing more videos and sharing them around, and I will talk to you all later.